Okay, so I'm going to close this off because I don't want to totally saturate your brains on these things. But I do want you to see, I think some common things you need to see is how to read these topo maps and these topo lines. That's important. And so understand that these larger dark lines, these are, top these are um, topographic lines of elevation, okay? And they're, they're, line, they're contour, what are called contour lines, and they, they're lines of equal elevation. And you, you can find these darker lines are the lines that uh, depict kind of even number, they're all even numbers, but, uh, you know, base numbers. So these are, this topo map, if we go in here, we can see the contour intervals read here, they're 10 feet. And what a contour interval is, is looking at the lines in between. So from there to there is one contour interval, one line up. Oops, you're not seeing that. So from there to there is one line up. So that's from 350, you can see that number 350, to that line. And so you have to figure out, well, am I going up or down? You know, which way am I going? These lines are going some way, and they're all 10 feet in between. Um, well, the way you read that is you go to your next dark line, and you try to find the number. Sometimes the numbers aren't clearly evident right away. So my eyes, again, are poor, and I've got to find this number. So what I'll do is I'll kind of scan this line, and I'm going to look for what the number is. I don't see a number there. It kind of, kind of stops at that lake. So I'm going to follow this, follow this, kind of goes around, goes around, goes around, goes around. Oh, there it is, 300. So I had to kind of follow this all the way around. So did you guys follow me? 300, 300, blah, 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 blah. All the way back. I'm following it, I'm following it, I'm following it. So I follow it to here. So I know that I'm going from 350 to 300. If I counted the number of intervals in between that, I know that that's 50 feet, so there's got to be five of these lines. One, two, three, four, five. There's five intervals. Okay? So going from 350 to 300, I know this direction right here is going downhill. And a way to understand that even further is that there's a, there's a stream down here. I know the stream isn't going to be higher than this area. Okay, so the stream is, it's, everything is kind of flowing into this stream, so it's going down. So we can know, first of all, you've got to know where, how to read these contour numbers and to also know am I going upslope or am I going downslope. Uh, one of the other things you've got to realize is that these maps, they're oriented north, south, east, and west. So they're, the top is north, so that's going north this way. And then you've got east going this way, you've got west, and you've got south. And so one of the other things you can learn by looking at these contour lines is, is which way am I looking, which way am I facing, and that's called your aspect. And so when I look at this, if I'm standing right, say I'm standing right here on this slope, okay, and I'm looking down slope here, so I'm going downhill, I know that I'm kind of looking, I'm looking this direction, so the sun is coming from the south. This is a a southwesterly, so barely west. So here's your south, and here's west. So it's looking in a southwest direction. Let's get one that's even more um, apparent. Here's one right here. So I move it over. So you've got this real steep slope right here, and this slope. And again, here's the stream. So I know I can, without looking for these numbers, I know I'm going downhill right here. So if I'm on if I'm standing right here on this slope, I know that I'm looking west because it's going down this way and my west direction is that way, so it's facing that direction. So that's a westerly aspect slope. If I'm on this side, I'm looking more towards the east, so I'm looking back down towards that stream, so I'm looking in an easterly way. So that's how you look at these things and you read direction and which way you're going. And also you got to realize too, is when you look at these lines, that the, the closer in the contour lines are together, the steeper the slope. Um, one of the, one of the uh, calculations they most likely are going to have you make is something called what is the, uh, what is the slope of, of, the, uh, of, of the hill that you're looking at, or the terrain that you're looking at. And the way you do that is you take a measurement. And we know that to calculate slope, it's simply what's called the rise over the run. Okay, so the rise 
is our elevation change. And our run is our distance that it takes. So we measure the distance. So the elevation change we get from those numbers on those contour lines, the distance we get from our scale and our measuring from you know knowing that one inch is equal to 2,000 feet. When we do this, we divide that by that and we multiply it by 100 to get it into percent, it gives us our percent slope. It's a little busy right there, sorry about that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's look at Let's look at a slope right here. Let's look at this slope right here. It looks pretty, it looks pretty uh, um, steep. So now I can look at that and I go, gosh, I know it's 50 feet in between. So I'm going to try to look from there, that brown line, to that dark brown line. That's five units or five intervals, which is 50 feet. We know that my, my uh, rise is going to be 50 feet. My run, though, I look like I've got one point something, like one. my eyes are going to pour, 1.3 maybe, or point, point 0.13 inches. You see that? So what I can do is if I want to get it finer, I don't have to stay at the 10 mark. I can actually go to the 20 mark, which makes it even finer, if I can find it somewhere. So at the 20 mark, I know that that one inch is equal to 2,000 feet. So each of these things is not 200 like the last one. But now, since there's 20 of them in an inch, because that, that's what that is, one inch is equal to 20 of these units. And we know an inch is equal to 2,000 feet. We know each of these little sections is, a, is 100 feet. So it's a little bit finer resolution. So let's do this. So we see that it's one, two, one, two, three, maybe? Looks like it's point, it's three of those things. So we'll say it right at three. One, two, three. Maybe a little, maybe a little over. So we know each of those is 100, so that's 300 feet. So from there to there, I measured my run as 300. So getting back to our formula, rise over run. We know the rise is 50 feet because in between those two dark contour lines is 50 feet. And we know the run was 300 feet. And if we do the math, and I don't have my calculator, um, 50 divided by 300 times 100. I feel silly because I don't have it. That's probably an easy calculation. Um, it's probably going to ruin the whole thing. So it goes in 1, 300, 200, bring down to 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 6. So that's 18, 200, bring a zero down, and again, it's going to be 1.166. So, but you would multiply that 0.166 times 100, and that would give you 16.6% slope. So that's how you figure out slope. Hopefully you can figure that out, and you'll have a calculator, because we're allowed calculators at this thing. Okay. So on my next thing, I'm going to go ahead and stop now because what I want to do is um, teach you about uh, some other mapping on the topo maps and give you some other ideas. But uh, this kind of gets you started on looking at kind of the fundamentals of how to read these things, um, how to go north, how to go south, and which direction you're facing. So what we've learned today is aspect. We've looked at UTM and state plane coordinates. We kind of looked at latitude and longitude and how much distance in between a minute is. And we've looked at uh, slope, you know, looking at contour lines and the distance, the rise over run, and uh, all those different things. So hopefully this helps, and we'll uh, put some more together as time goes on. Now I need to get out of this thing.